So students, uh, I'm going to discuss about humanization of nature or possibilism from chapter number one, nature and scope of human journey. So in our previous class, we have discussed about environmental determinism or naturalization of human. And we came to know that the, in the early period of human history, the human beings were totally controlled by the natural forces. Okay, they adapted to their surrounding environment and they were dependent on the nature or the surrounding environment for everything, for their daily needs and all, okay, for food, shelter, everything. Okay, so such a situation when the human beings were totally controlled by the natural forces and the natural forces were much powerful than the human beings and all, okay, such situation is known as the naturalization of human or environmental determinism, actually. Okay, because at that period of uh, early human beings, the human beings, they did not have a better technology. Okay, the level of technological development was very low at that period of time. And this is the reason that human beings were totally dependent on the nature for their survival. Okay, but with the passage of time, the human beings, they started understanding the natural forces. Okay, with the passage of time, the human beings, they started understanding the natural forces and better understanding of the natural forces helped the human beings to develop technology. Okay, to develop technology. Okay, and with this technological advancement, with this development of technology, the human beings started conquering the nature. They started exploiting the natural resources. And all. Okay, so this situation, okay, this situation at present, when the human beings has developed the technology and they are controlling the nature now, are, is known as humanization of nature. So let us study in details about this concept of humanization of nature, or which is also known as possibilism. At the stage of very low technological development, we can imagine the presence of a naturalized human who listened to the nature, was afraid of his UV and worshipped it. Okay, so the, at the stage of very low technological development, means when the human technological development in the human society was very low. Okay, at that time, we can imagine the presence of a naturalized human. At that time, we can imagine that human beings were totally naturalized. Naturalized means they were totally controlled by the natural forces. Okay, they were totally dependent on the natural forces. Okay, and these people, okay, in the earlier period of human history, when the level of technology was very low, at that time, they listened to the nature they feared the nature and they worship the nature actually. Okay. So there is a direct dependence of human beings on the nature for the resources which sustain them. So in this earlier period of time, there was a direct dependence of the human beings on the nature. Okay. For the resources which, they, which sustain the human beings actually. Okay. Means the human beings were totally dependent on nature for food, shelter, okay, for everything actually. Okay. From where? Okay. They used to sustain themselves actually. So the physical environment or the nature, okay, the physical environment for such societies, okay, for such group of people who were having a very low level of technological development, it became the mother nature. Okay, the physical environment or the nature, it became a mother nature for such people, okay, a group of people, okay, whose level of technology, technological development was very much low. The people later on with the passage of time they begin to understand their environment and the forces of nature actually. Okay. So these human beings who were controlled by the natural forces in the earlier stages of their development, with the passage of time, they started understanding the natural forces. They started understanding the natural phenomena. Okay. And they started developing the technology. Okay. They started developing the technology. So first human beings, they started, okay, they invented the wheel. Okay. Like this way, the human beings, they invented the tools and all. Okay. So, okay. so with the social and the cultural development, the humans, they develop better and more efficient technology. So with the passage of the time, human beings started understanding the natural forces. Okay. They started understanding the natural laws and all, and they started developing the technology. So with the development of technology, the human society had started developing. Okay. The society started becoming more enriched. Cultural development started taking place. Okay, and with the social and the cultural development, human beings started developing more efficient technology. Okay, they started developing more efficient technology and they moved from a state of necessity to a state of freedom. 
okay they move from a state of necessity to a state of fit so with the development of the technology the human beings they move from a state of necessity to a state of freedom that means in the earlier time when human beings were totally dependent on the nature okay that particular time was the state of necessity actually means whatever they require okay they used to depend on the nature to fulfill their necessity but with the development of technology they moved from such a state of necessity to a state of freedom actually now human beings are having the technology to utilize the resources provided by the nature okay before they used to depend on the nature for their food and all but now they can do their own agriculture they can grow different types of crops okay and these different types of crops can be processed into different types of products and we can make different types of uh, food products and all okay in the earlier time human beings they were dependent on the nature for their shelter and all but now with the development of technology we are developing the advanced houses we are developing the buildings we are constructing houses in the hills everywhere actually okay so how this has become possible actually this has become possible with the efficient technology actually okay so this is why it is said that the human beings they moved from a state of necessity to a state of freedom actually okay so in the earlier time the human beings were in the state of necessity where at that time they worked just to fulfill their necessity just to earn their livelihood but now human beings they work okay to fulfill their demands okay like well to they have many opportunities like if you don't want to eat rice today you are having the options of eating some other foods and all we don't like to uh, stay in one this region we have the opportunity to go somewhere else and make the houses and all okay so this is why it is said that the human beings they have moved from a state of necessity to a state of freedom with, with the development of the technology they create possibilities with the resources obtained from the environment and the human activities they create cultural landscape so basically the human beings they started creating possibilities they started developing opportunities with the resources which are obtained from the nature okay so the resources which we get from the nature actually which okay the resources which have been provided by the nature those resources are being transformed into various valuable items those resources are being utilized to uh, create new possibilities to create new opportunities and all okay so now the human beings they have started creating the cultural landscape okay cultural landscape means like they have converted the forested areas into cities the forested areas now converted into industrial areas the deserted mountain areas are now the tourism centers and all so this is the cultural landscape actually which has been created by the human beings okay because of the human activities and all and how it has become possible it has become possible just because of the development of technology and how did we develop the technology we developed the technology because of better understanding of the natural forces okay so the imprints of the human activities are created everywhere and now we can see the imprints of the human activities everywhere on the earth surface if you can if you reach any part of the world you will see that the cultural activities women like we have changed the natural environment according to our will actually even in the polar areas okay we have constructed the human habitations okay we have constructed uh, uh the uh, different kinds of research stations in the antarctic in the alaska region and all okay we are sending satellites to the space and this is all because of development in technology so the imprints of human activities are created everywhere health resorts on the highlands huge urban sprawls the fields the orchards and the pastures in the plains the rolling hills the ports on the coast the oceanic routes on the oceanic surface and satellites in the space okay these are all the imprints of the human activity okay these are all the imprints of the human activities on the on the environment on the nature actually okay so the earlier scholar they termed this as possibilism okay so the geographers earlier geographers they termed such a situation as possibilism okay they has termed such a situation as possibilism because the nature is providing us with possibilities the nature is providing us with opportunities for our cultural development okay for our social development and economic development actually okay so nature provides opportunities and humans beings make use of this and slowly nature gets humanized and starts bearing the imprints of human endeavor so the nature they provides us opportunities and we human beings we make use of these opportunities okay and slowly the nature gets humanized before the human beings were naturalized but now the nature is humanized that means 
Now the nature is under the control of the human being. Okay, and the nature has started bearing the imprints of the human endeavor. Okay, and now we can see the imprints of the human beings or the human activities on this nature, on the surrounding environment and all. Okay, so this is termed as possibilism or humanization of nature. Okay, so you can see nowadays, like everywhere we have changed the landscape. Okay, like the natural resources and all. Okay, we are extracting it with the help of technology. Okay, uh, we are constructing the dams on the mountains and all. Okay, the hilly regions and all to generate electricity. Okay, we are converting uh, the uh, like um, uh, you can say the forested land into an urban area, into an industrial area and all. So how this has become possible actually? Because the technology is now most powerful actually. Okay, the technology is now more powerful, and with this technology, we are trying to. Uh, have a control on the nature and the natural forces. Like before, when the storm will come, when rainfall will take place, we did not know anything about it. Okay, but now we can predict in before only that in which areas uh, the rainfall, heavy rainfall is going to take place. Okay, which areas are going to get affected because of uh, storms and all, because of cyclones and all. When the cyclones will come, everything can be predicted actually. Okay, so this has all become possible just because of the development of technology. Okay. And how does this technological development took place? Because of understanding of the natural forces. Okay. So the present situation when the human beings are controlling the nature with the help of technology is known as humanization of nature or possibilities. Okay. So this is what about the concept of naturalization of human and uh, natural, uh, sorry, humanization of nature or possibilities.